Welcome back everybody. Today I have something that's pretty cool, at least in my opinion. This right here is the Kevlar that a lot of folks were issued uh, basically from Vietnam through Grenada and probably after that as well. Is it body armor, at least as we would categorize it in 2022? No. Can it stop stuff? I don't know. <laughs> we're about to find out today. That's kind of part of what we're testing today. But this stuff here, again, was issued for ever for decades by the US military and what it is supposed to do. It is supposed to stop uh, fragmentation. So whether it be from grenades, from artillery, if you're in a vehicle and you hit an IED and there's shrapnel coming through at you, it is supposed to stop that. That said, I don't have access to grenades or IEDs out here to test that with. And additionally, I should point out that this stuff is old. I mean, this stuff is at least 30 years old. And uh, so you never know what that's going to do to it, but it is made out of Kevlar according to the liner, which is cool. So it might stop stuff. I'm not saying it will, I'm saying it might. So we're gonna test a couple different rounds. If it doesn't stop anything, I'm gonna try to set up a scenario where it gets hit with fragmentation from a bullet and uh, we'll see if it'll stop that at least. I have no idea. Either way, we are gonna find out. But before we actually start shooting it, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is NAGR. So for folks who don't know, they are a national, as the name would indicate, gun rights organization that is a no compromise organization. So they believe that shall not be infringed means shall not be infringed. So you guys should be able to own suppressors, machine guns, etc., and be able to buy them down at your local convenience store. They're fighting every day in Washington to restore the rights that have been taken away by our oppressive government. And if you guys would like to support them, there will be a link down below in the video description but again thank you to them for sponsoring today's video now let's see what this thing can stop all right we've got the flak vest downrange at about 10 feet and we have some 40 grain 22 ammunition coming out of my interior suppressed here smith and wesson 22 and uh we're gonna put a couple on it i'm gonna put one attempt to anyway on the shoulder where it looks like it has the most reinforcement and then just one in the middle see if it stops that i don't, I don't know if it will guys could be a short video Let's see. Alrighty, let's take a look here. So first one there went into the shoulder as you guys probably guessed. And one layer stopped it. So you guys can probably see that there. I'm genuinely surprised, but I did not expect that. One layer stopped it for sure. Didn't need all the extra. Then we had our second one go right into there. Once again, one layer stopped it. Pleasantly surprised. Again, it's not rated for this at all, 22. We're gonna step it up a little bit and see if it'll stop a center fire round. Up next, we have a wad cutter 158 grainer 38 special and uh, coming out of J frame. I have no idea what's gonna happen. We'll find out. Let's check it out. As y'all saw from the slow-mo, we hit it right here on the pocket. And we shall see. It stopped it. One layer stopped it. Again, genuinely surprised by that. I kind of thought this was gonna be a short video and 22 is just gonna bust through it. But no, it's stopping real bullets. So let's keep going. Next up in true Vietnam fashion, we are gonna fire a 230 grain ball, 45 ACP round at it out of a 1911 from SIG. Should be going relatively slow. After that 38 special, it might. Let's see. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna find out together. We put it on the other pocket there. The 45, look at that, stopped it. Genuinely impressed, let's keep going. Up next, we have some 115 grain, so it's going fast. Nine millimeter minute ammunitions coming out of my dagger pistol here. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna stop anything, but yeah, I don't think it'll stop this. This is a tough test. You know, if it was 147 grain, I'd say probably. One way to find out, kids. Let's 
So off camera, I have not been peeking at all. And right there, we had our entry. It definitely moved more that time than it normally did. Nothing stopped it. Man, that's crazy. Let's keep going. Up next, exact same round, 115 grain minute, man. This time we're coming out of our ZF5 uh, American made MP5 clone with almost a nine inch barrel. So the speed is going to be much higher. All right, let's see. Once again, we went pocket shot here and uh, all right, all right, we got some action. So there we had penetration of one layer and it stopped right there. And uh, that is what it stopped. So barely, barely made it through. You guys can see there that Kevlar ripped and then that is where it stopped. So two layers definitely stopped it. One layer almost stopped it. I'd be wondering about that had almost no speed once it went through there. But that is the breaking point again, nine millimeter, 115 grain, coming out of a nine inch barrel. We'll put the math up here on your screen, but that is a screaming around. It's pretty darn close to a lot of 357 Magnum loads. I'm impressed, genuinely. Let's keep going. Along the same vein of what we just did, we have some 230 grain ball 45, the exact same Remington stuff you guys just saw. This time again, it's coming out of a longer barrel here on my UMP. We'll see if that makes any difference. See how it likes a little bit of the full auto funk. At this point, you guys know where it hit better than I do. I have not looked yet. We will see, we'll open it up and see if we had anything crazy going on. Anything that hit on this side, it stopped it just fine. I know we had one hit low here for sure and right there as well and it definitely stopped it so the only thing that went through was that nine mil going at very fast speed for nine millimeter again guys genuinely impressed a few things that we kind of learned from this video number one is that this is kevlar right so this is old school body armor stuff it's not the new uhw mpe and a lot of people ask about expired body armor will it still do anything again it's not rated for these rounds at all in any way shape or form but it stopped them again i thought this might be a super quick video with the 22 going right through it it didn't i was pleasantly impressed so what do we know there is that even old Kevlar still has a little bit of juice in there and even old Kevlar that is not rated to stop bullets can stop some bullets. So that's pretty darn cool. When you actually feel these in terms of the actual weight, it's relatively lightweight. I mean, compared to modern stuff today that we have, you know, lighter weight UHWMP, it's definitely heavier, but it's also reinforced in several spots. So for example, here we have double layering same is true up here sort of on our neck guard obviously it's a single layer but when you fold it down you can get two and uh it did better than i thought now thinking about the intended purpose of this ah, obviously we had one hit right there in the center and it absolutely stopped it so that's good but thinking about the intended purpose of this again it's for uh stopping of fragmentation so uh, grenades artillery etc if you look around basically in vietnam there's a lot of guys being at war with a lot of draftees weren't exactly following the rules a lot of guys didn't wear this but a lot of guys did and i'm sure quite sure that there are a lot of americans today who are alive because they wore these flak jackets. Obviously we didn't have plates or anything like that back then, uh, but this was absolutely state of the art for the time. And uh, without question, I would be willing to bet there are thousands of people who are alive because of these flak jackets. Unfortunately, there's probably guys that are dead because they didn't wear them, but I get it, man, it's hot. Sometimes mobility is what you need. It's always a, a balance between mobility and armor. I've said that in a million videos and it was true back then, just as it's true today. Um, but they did much better than I thought. I want to thank the folks at Botac. They're the ones who sent this out for this test. And uh, again, did much, much better than what I thought. If you guys out there, any of you, your parents, whatever the case may be, wore these or didn't wear these, let us know why down below in the comments section. Let us know what you thought of them. Uh, obviously, not exactly what we would consider modern day plate carriers, but you could definitely throw a few extra mags in there if you wanted to, hang a grenade here if you wanted to, or like an MRE spoon, whatever the case may be. And uh, for what they were, they certainly did the job. If you guys like this type of video and you're not subscribed here on the channel, 
definitely hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of armor tests here, and uh, this is kind of the bread and butter of what we do. Not so much the surplus stuff, but armor in general. We see where it fails, and this one, again, much, much better than I thought. If you're subscribed and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, you can sign up for my email list that you see here on your screen at the website, and that email goes out at most once a month and it has all of the videos since the previous month's email went out, so that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content because I have over 700,000 subscribers as of this video, and typically 10% of you don't even watch my videos within the first week, which tells me they're not showing you my videos. Um, so there is that. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can post it at my social media or down below in the comments section. And uh, if you guys are looking for deals and stuff like this, optics, ammo, whatever the case may be, you can sign up for my daily deals email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out at most once a day and it has all of the videos, uh, rather it has all the deals that we find around the internet. So that way, again, if you're being censored, follow me on various other social media. This one goes straight to your inbox and if it's in the email, it's the best price that I know of anywhere on the internet on that particular day. So hopefully you guys can save yourself some time and save yourself some money with that email. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. We learned something here and I was genuinely impressed and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video.